Example 3, x is cosine t, y is sine of t, t is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to pi. x at t equals 0 is cosine at 0 or 1. y at sine at 0 is 0. It forms the order pair 1 comma 0. For pi over 4, cosine pi over 4 is square root 2 over 2. For our convenience, when we plot the graph, write it in the decimal is about approximately equal to 0 0.71, same as the y value. And then the other pair is 0 0.71 comma 0 0.71. For t equals pi over 2, cosine pi over 2 is 0. Psi at pi over 2 is 1, the other pair is 0 comma 1. At t equals 3 pi over 4, cosine 3 pi over 4, since 3 pi over 4 in the second quadrant, cosine is negative. Now we have negative 0 0.71, but y value or the sine value of 3 pi over 4 is still positive. So 0 0.71, negative 0 0.71, 0 0.71. At pi, cosine pi is negative 1, sine at pi is 0. It forms the order pair negative 1 comma 0. Now we see the x will be between negative 1 and positive 1, where y is between 0 and 1. In the xy plane that provided, uh, by the way, part A is already completed. Next, we're going to do part B or suggest the, the graph or the curve of the parameter equations. x between negative 1 and positive 1. We can make the scale large here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then for the y, a similar way. One, two, three, four, five. It goes by 0 0.2. The first one as t equals zero, the other pair is one comma zero. So this where t equals zero. The next point seven and point seven. Where t equals pi over 2, the other pair is 0, 1. t equals 3 pi over 4, the other pair negative 0. 0.71 and 0. 0.71. Negative one zero <clears throat> as t equals pi as the last point, then the trajectory goes from the low t to the high t. <clears throat> Next part c, we are going to eliminate the parameter for x equals cos t y equals psi t. We could not do the same way that what we did with the earlier two examples as algebraic equations. This time it's involving trig functions. So we have to think about the family or the appropriate trigonometric identities to see the relationship of the sine cosine that appears on the parametric equation. As we recalled, the Trigonometric identity, or it's called Pythagorean identity, as cosine square t plus sine square t equals, equals 1. So this is a trig identity that we used a lot. So we can see that if we form the cosine square and sine square and add them up, this sum going to become 1. So we can see this as if we square x, that means we're going to have the cosine squared. And similarly, y squared is sine squared t. So 
as cosine square t plus sine square of the t equals one with the identity that we know. Since the cosine square t is x square, sine square is y square, then we can see the relationship of x and y in the form of x square plus y square equals one, which is the equation of the circle. As x square plus y squared equals r squared. Now we can describe the parametric curve. So we have the graph as the circle centered at the origin 0, 0 with the radius r equals 1 because the number one here is r squared or one squared. And the trajectory or the orientation is, as you see the graph that we plot from the low t to the high t, it goes counterclockwise. And this is actually not the whole circle. For the, for the bound of the x and y, for x between negative one and positive one, and the y between zero and one. And basically we can see this as a half circle or the same might circle. Same might circle center at zero, zero with the radius r equals one. The orientation is counterclockwise and it starts, so we can say it starts at the point one comma zero.